Hello, Team Torres. Welcome back to the List Illuminator. So let's see what's going on for you guys for the month of December. Let's see what are the messages for Taurus. Please do not forget to like, share, or subscribe. If you want your reading to be out first, I'm doing all those generals based on the amount of likes. So let's just get started. And we'll have an extended he said, she said reading on Vimeo if you would like to <clears throat> see that one you will find the link down in the description box below so let's see what is going on am i holding the deck up right yeah Ooh. justice is the first card out and i am using the marielle tarot deck we have the three of wands Ace of Cups. <clears throat> you guys are waiting for someone to return. Um, someone that has done you an injustice. You want to balance the situation out. You have been trying to look at this from very various angles, actually. Um, and you are ready to make a this, like decisive decision here. And this decision is actually to cut these cords that you're having with this individual because you don't feel that this person is going to do you any justice, that they're not treating you fairly and you are in need. Like mentally, you, you're telling yourself that you need to protect your heart and that you need to um use your sword and use your mind to cut this person off and to expand and you you have your eyes on a new person or a new kind of love it's like this person is totally different than what you have been um like what you have in your mind is totally different than all the relationships that you have uh, been in. Like this person is is in a different. Like you don't, you're not looking back to the to to the past persons. You do not want them to be just like the past persons were. You want to expand. You're looking forward to expand when it comes to. Uh, experiencing new type of love, new type of um, emotional experience. So this is going to be, this is a decision that you probably already have made and you you feel very comfortable with it because you do not want to, you know, you don't want, you don't want to be scorned anymore with the justice card. She is definitely protecting her heart and using her mind um, to make an objective decision. She has weighed up the pros and cons and she knows that uh whatever the situation was in the past it did not serve her well and she's ready to expand and tr like some kind of a karmic chapter has been closed and it, it seems to me that you are fully aware of the fact that it has um it has changed you is what i feel it has changed you a lot you do have the Six of Cups, <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, Messages for Taurus, Ooh. Three of Cups with the Chariot, Seven of Wands, Two of Cups. <clears throat> and the Fool. Okay, I like it. I like it. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. And you've got three trees here. So there's definitely a lot of expansion that is going to happen in the month of December. You might be even <clears throat> traveling since we do also have the chariot card. You might be dealing with a 
Cancerian or a Libra individual or even an Aries. If not, this is just the energies that are coming towards you. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I don't have any voice left. <clears throat> so, you've made a clear decision. Um, this could be a decision regarding a soulmate, someone from the past. Um, there is still this, you are still pedaling back and forth, even though you you have made a very decisive decision. Um, for others of you, you are receiving, like there is a soulmate that is gonna come in. This is a new person that I'm seeing here. And you have stability in your mind. You want to create, you want to create the right commitment with someone new. This could be with the same person as well, but for a majority of you, I'm having this feeling that this is a newer person like for those who just got out of a divorce or just out of a relationship you are rebuilding your hope and faith in a new relationship and you have this you have this in your mind that's what i was trying to say like you want to expand you want a commitment you want to dedicate you want to nurture a family a baby some of you might even get a baby um but this is something that you have on your mind actually there is a lot of teamwork like a lot of dedication that you're putting into your um to your career here as well but you want to balance things out and if there are a lot of if there is like a lack of domestic harmony you are trying all that you can to um get that domestic harmony within the house environment you're very much focused in your stability within your house environment maybe you're changing decorations you're changing your um your house just so you can feel more comfortable um for this next person that can come like you have that in your mind you know what i mean like you want to live um already even though you are single does not have to be when you're single but even now that you are single you want to um you want to live or act as if that person is already there is what i'm getting here there is here the three of cups and the chariot so if there is a travel if you if you're going to everyone is getting the chariot card is everyone traveling or what um there are a lot of uh, there's a lot of travel that I'm seeing, a lot of joy, a lot of fulfillment that I'm seeing. You might be meeting someone from the past while you are on a travel, when you're um, on a, you know, relocating somewhere. There is someone that can, um, that you will meet someone that is from your past, but that's not like an ex lover that you just, you know, think of at this point. This is someone that you have at least expected. Uh, when it comes to this past person, I do feel that there is uh, a lot of fiery energy coming from your uh, from your side. You you finally stand up for yourself. You you finally stand up for your own. Um, like you're not letting this person from the past come in. It's not gonna be that easy. If this person wants to come back then it, they need to dedicate all the time, energy, and effort to nurture this relationship because that's what your aim is, that's what your goal is. If this person comes in to, uh, to play around, you are definitely not playing around. Um, you have your guards up, you are making decisive decisions, and you are protecting yourself. If there is a fight that you need to have against this person, uh, or you have to speak up your mind, you are not shying away from it. Like you really will show them what you think about it. And they may not truly like it or they might. They, they may like the fact that you are being very rebellious as well. So because it's not like your energy, like you like to be more conserved and like hold things um, inside. But with the Seven of Wands energy coming out, you're definitely going to stand your ground um when it comes to this person from the past that has done you wrong that has uh, for your sentence done you in fair and injustice um i do definitely see a soulmate connection coming in uh, this might also be you uh, standing up for yourself standing your ground on a specific situation 
whereas you will feel more imbalanced within yourself like this was what you need what you had to do all the way like all the time already and you're gonna feel much more balanced within yourself if not there is definitely um a new connection that is going to come in but you do first need to drop all the things that really offend your soul and make your move forward the fool here is all everyone is getting the full card it's just crazy like there is definitely the closing out of a chapter closing out of a karmic chapter and starting a complete new one um the fool also travels slightly you do have a lot of travel cards here looking forward to travel making plans to travel trying to expand um being very determined having a lot of uh goals set up if not start doing them already but i don't feel that that's necessary i feel that you're already very much connected to your um to your mission or to your to your goals in life and you are very determined to get that and you put all your energy and effort and determination and willpower into re achieving those goals but the only thing that you need to do is understand that you do need to leave the past energies behind for what it is and take a leap forward with this full card definitely take a leap forward i do want to clarify this I want to clarify the Seven of Wands and the Two of Cups. Seven of Wands. Ooh. Seven of Wands on the Seven of Wands. Okay. So if you were not speaking up in the past, you're about to. You're about to. You're blocking out everyone who is against you or has. You know, you're going to be rebellious. And this is so funny because when I was. Starting your uh, uh, reading, I, I kept on hearing like, Taurus is going to be rebellious. Taurus is going to be rebellious. And I was just like, okay, totally not your energy. And now you're just having the seven of wands and the seven of wands. I feel your energy already thinking maybe like, me, rebellious, what? <laughs> yes, this is your future, all right? This is your future. I wanna see more, this is interesting. Seven of wands, why the seven of wands? You're definitely blocking people out, blocking, like you're gonna block them out, like even energetically, because they're, they're, they're eating off your energy. You have some energy vampires around you that know how to get back in with you. Yeah, three of swords. You're done with having your heart broken. You're done with overthinking things that have broke your heart in the past um you want to move forward you want to move forward there could be some forgiveness that is needed here i want to see the two of cups who is this two of cups who is this two of cups two of cups on the two of wands And three of wands. I was just looking at the three of wands and the three of wands came back again. This is making a decision on expecting more of life, expecting more of a of a soulmate connection. And ooh, we've got the king of wands here. Jeez, that's a lot of fiery energy. And I have the king of wands, uh, king of pentacles here. So you know, as I, as I said, this is having more expectations of someone Um this man looks like someone that knows what he's doing. The, 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 what am I going to say? I had something in my, in my mind and it just slipped away. Let me just look at it. It's like you just, you just know that you want someone that is serious, that is committed, that is um, not playing around. Um, that is grounded and that's like your ultimate goal and that's where you want to go um for others of you this could also be your energy wanting to focus on your finances as i said dedicate time energy and effort into your finances to provide a family or provide your family and that's like how you are going to um cut off people that are trying to hurt you or constantly trying to drag your energy down all right so this was your reading my dear taurus i see you guys later on vimeo thank you and bye